What's up YouTube? This is Aim for Survival and today we found a piece of gear at Walmart. Yes, at Walmart in the retail store itself for less than three dollars. Walmart has made a knockoff Mora. Stay tuned. Today we found a new piece of kit for less than three dollars before tax. We have a Walmart version of the Mora knife. Now this thing came in at less than three dollars before tax. Now if you're going to buy only one cheap knife, I would always go with a Mora brand. This one here is your companion or something similar to your Pro C. However, both these knives now go on Amazon for about thirteen to fifteen dollars. Now it is a backup knife. You can use them as your primary knife, but it is not recommended. If you're just getting started or teaching kids, yes, go with a good Mora. They will handle some abuse. But if you're building multiple kits, you need multiple knives. You don't want to be digging in and out of one kit and the next kit. This will lead to problems down the road. You'll think you have gear with you, and you won't. Without any more ado, let's go to the table and take a closer look. All right, so here we are. We have our Mora Companion. This is a very well-known blade, one I've used and loved for a long time. It has a four-inch blade made in Sweden. The Mora knife is a cheap utility knife. It's very functional, reliable with this hard sheath. Keeps you good and safe and good rubberized handle and it feels great in the hand. Now, like I said, this is a $13 to $15 knife. A little higher end version or better built I would have to say is the Pro C Bushcraft this also comes in about $15 have you seen this one has been used thoroughly this is one of my beater knives but also one I've carried on many watercraft trips I will be touching up this blade now the point of the video is this one right here now this knife came in at less than three dollars bought in a retail store it is the knockoff of the Mora Companion there's very very little difference in the blade profile I do notice a little drop on the back of the knife here this is made with very good steel this no doubt is made with a very cheap steel however it is a cheap knife that's what's to be expected now the value of this knife is that it is comfortable it is shaving sharp right out of the store no doubt it will be easy to manage in the field with a basic sharpening stone and for three dollars I could put this in a fishing kit this one in my EDC another one in a training bag or a get home bag I can afford to put these in many many kits I know how to use these little knives to do big jobs and mentioning big jobs with little knives, you're going to want a comfortable handle. Because you're going to be sitting there a lot longer than with a knife built for the task at hand. The back does have a dual clip where the Mora has just one. Now, let me go ahead and say that when I've put this into molly webbing, it has been a trouble getting out, which means it won't fall out. However, this one can definitely go from my pack to my belt and back to my pack. It would serve as a neck knife. Definitely will be carrying it that way in the kayak. If it gets wet, it will corrode, but it is a cheap knife. It could be replaced, and of course it could be just took care of. You could take and buff out any corrosion that, that begins, keep it old, and you won't have that problem to begin with. Give you a close look at the barcode on this. I could not find this on their website, so this might be an in-store only purchase. I'm down in Tennessee, so our Walmart usually has a, a good fishing selection. Back up here, I do want to focus on the knife at hand. The handle is almost exactly like the Mora. I can see no difference in the actual handle of these knives. 
They both have four inch blades. But for the price of the Mora, I can have five of these, which means I can build five kits. Now they will not be my premium life saving kits. Although this literally could be a life saver in a pinch. If you're taking stuff out of one bag and putting it into another, you're going to find yourself without your gear eventually, or you might even have it stolen. If you've dealt with this, you know what I'm talking about. You want you lose a $100 backup knife, you never carry another one, not on a regular basis. Everyone, I'd like to thank you again for watching Aim for Survival. This has been a great budget-friendly addition to kit building. We'll see more of it this coming year, maybe even do a, a individual review of this item. If you haven't already, I want you to smash your like button, comment down below, subscribe to our channel. It doesn't cost anything. It's not like magazines. You just fill out your YouTube account, and it shows you what you want to see. Until next time, everyone, stay safe.